When ELOL quit B-Swarm Simulator, it absolutely shook the community and hundreds of players started to quit the game. Because without a top 1 player, there was no one to really look up to in the community. So the game just started to fall apart. And if we don't get another top 1 player soon, the game might eventually die out completely. Which leaves us all wondering who will be the next top 1 player. Now, since first place quit B-Swarm Simulator, you might think, oh yeah, second place is probably going to be the next leader. And second place on the Honey Day leaderboard would be none other than just some noob. Except for the fact that while just some noob is at 80 quadrillion honey, he's been at 80 quadrillion honey for the past five months. Yeah, just some noob hasn't actually really been playing Beast Swarm Simulator that much. I mean, maybe he has, but if he has, then he isn't grinding honey in any way. Which just goes to show that just because you're on the leaderboard doesn't mean you're actively playing the game anymore. A lot of the all-time honey makers right now, I'm assuming, are either macroing or have actually quit the game. Which means we can't exactly base our predictions off of who's on the leaderboard right now. So could darn soft be the next top one maybe but a more accurate leaderboard we should be looking at is the daily top honey makers because the all-time honey maker just shows who's been the best player in the past the daily top honey makers leaderboard shows who's actually playing the game right now and actively trying to make progress and currently sitting at today's number one spot is ethan and this actually isn't the first time i've seen him at the top of the leaderboard as you can already see he is miles ahead of second and third place sitting at a nice half a quadrillion honey just today and i've seen him make decent progress in previous days on the daily leaderboard. As you can see right now on the leaderboard, he's actually 66th place. If Ethan really wants to be top 1, it'd be a very long time before he actually reaches that point, considering he's still about 75 quadrillion honey behind. But if he tries hard enough, it is possible. Now when it comes to the next top players, what you guys might be thinking is that it might be some of the big content creators in this game, specifically maybe Yark's BSS or Vitamin Delicious. Now I can see why you would think that. Now it does make sense that they would end up being really good at the game, considering they both have really high sub count and obviously know a lot about the game. But the reality is, I don't think they're going to be top one anytime soon, because while Vitamin Delicious does play the game, Vitamin doesn't actually macro, which at this point is the only way to keep your all-time Honeymaker spot. And then there's Yark's BSS, who does macro but doesn't play the game, and you can't get on the all-time Honeymaker's leaderboard by only macro. And I mean, to be honest, neither of those YouTubers even have Planter of Plenty yet. If you really wanted to choose a good YouTuber to be the next top one, I would think more around Hero B. He actually does have a planner of plenty and a maxed out digital bee, at least on the red drives. The only problem is he actually barely uploads anymore, and I'm pretty sure he's quit the game. The last time he uploaded was when I stole his record, so obviously he had to steal it back. Now, one potential new top one player I would like to call attention to is Fragile Silence. Now, you might be wondering why I even think Fragile Silence in the first place. He's literally 35 quadrillion honey behind, and I mean just why. Well, I'm not saying he could be the next top one, but I was just grinding puff shrooms the other day and he joined my server. I'm not saying saying he's full-on tryharding the game and actually striving to be a top one player. But I mean, it's at least nice to know that some of the leaderboard players are at least playing the game these days. So props to you, Fragile Silence. Now you might think, hey, Beast from Guide, why don't you just become the next top one player? You gotta keep in mind that being top one is a very hard thing to do. You have to macro 24-7, I'd have to transition into a blue hive. And while I am currently trying to boost more often and actually get the planner of plenty, that's not even near how much work you would need to put in to become the next all-time top one. So all in all, at the end of this video, when it comes to the next top one player and who it's gonna be, I honestly have no idea at this point. It could literally be anyone. Just some noob could come back to the game and become the next all-time top one, or darn socks could, or some other random player on this leaderboard could become the next top one. Heck, it could be Ethan over here. There's no real way to know for sure, so I guess it's just a matter of time before we see who the next top one player will actually be.